Hello guys and welcome to our playlist of assembly language programming in 8085 microprocessor. In this video, we are going to discuss about the 8085 program that is the ALP to find square of a number using lookup table. So, what is this new term lookup table? A lookup table is a series of addresses where some data are being stored. So, let's say at some memory location, I am storing some data. So, if we want to fetch those data, then we will refer to that location and get the values. That is the use of lookup table. We can easily go to that location and fetch the values using the lookup tables. Here, there is nothing like table. As we store the data sequentially in some memory location, so it seems out to be a table and that is called a lookup table. We are doing this program to find a square between 0 to 9. So, if we input any value between 0 to 9, then it will give you the square of that value. So, what we are going to do in this lookup table? We are going to store the squared value of these integers in the lookup table. So, let's say we have a lookup table and let's say the static address of that lookup table is C100 hex. Okay. So, as this is a tabular structure, we need to store the values in sequential locations. So, th as the first address is C100 hex, the next one will be C101 hex, okay, then C102 hex, then C103 hex and so on. So, I have written the consecutive addresses from C100 hex to C109 hex. Why from 0 to 9? Because here we need to store the squared value from the integer 0 to 9. So, here we will store the squared value of 0. That is 0 is 0 only. Then the second one is 1. So, the squared value is 0, 1. Then the squared value of 2 is 0, 4 hex. Then in the same way we have 0, 9. Square of 4 is 16, 64, 81. So, see here, I am storing the squared values of these integers in decimal form. You can also store the squared value in hexadecimal form to get the result in hexadecimal. Now, we need to take the input and then go to that location and fetch the data that is the result and store that result in some memory location. That is the funda behind this program. So, in the beginning, we will take the input that means for which integer you want the squared value. So, I am inputting that data directly into the accumulator. Okay. Now, after inputting the data, I am moving it into the register L. Okay. Why we are doing it? I will tell you soon. And we need to initialize the H register with the most significant bits of these addresses. So, here yes, you can see the most significant bit is C1. So, H will be initialized with C1 hex. Okay. We know that addresses are of 16 bits and they are referred using HL pair. Right. Where H points to the MSB and L points to the LSB. So, if we have any address, let's say C102. Okay. Then this is stored in H register and this is stored in L register. So, we have initialized the H register with C1 hex that means the most significant address of the lookup table and the data of which we want the squared value that is our input right. So, that data will be stored in the L register. So, let's say if we want to find the square of 2 then we will move 2 in the L register. So, H is C1 and L is 02. Now, we will go to C102 hex address and we will fetch the squared value that is 04. So, in this way, we will get the answer. So, initializing H to C1 hex, the H pointer will go to this location and as the input is taken in the L register, so whatever input is being taken, it will go to that location. So, the whole HL register is pointing to a specific address now. Now, what we need to do? At that address, whatever data is being present, we need to fetch it. That means, if at C102 hex address, we have stored a squared value that is 04, then we need to fetch that address. So, 
as that is stored in memory so it will be move a comma m that means that data will be copied into the accumulator now what we just need to store that data in some memory location and then hold so i think you understood this program now let's say we want to calculate the squared value of 8x okay so h register will be what c1 and l register is what as we as the input is 8 so it will be 0 8x right so we will go to the address c108 hex and we will fetch its squared value that is 64 into the accumulator and then we will store that value that is 64 hex into the address c501 hex so in this way the concept of lookup table is used so i think this program is clear to you now and if you like this video please support the channel by subscribing to it and if you are interested in learning more assembly language programming in 8085, you can refer to other videos in my channel. So, see you in the next video. Thank you.